Hello there guys, welcome back to another Epic and Extra Rule Maths video. In this video we're looking at the ratio test for the second time and we want to know whether the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 2 to the n divided by n factorial diverges or converges. Once again, just as a recap of the last video if you didn't catch it, uh, this is D'Alembert's ratio test, or just the ratio test, or sometimes called the Cauchy ratio test, but it's just the ratio test. And basically, we have the limit as n goes to infinity of the ratio between the next term in the series and the current term in the series. We call that L. And if L is bigger than 1, the series diverges. If L is less than 1, it converges. If L is equal to 1, we say that it's inconclusive because we just don't know. There are some series where L is 1 that diverge, and there are some series where L is 1 that converge, so it's not enough information. If this happens, you just have to use a different type of test. Okay, that's all it means. Um, or it just means you are, you know, in deep water. Maybe you can't do anything. Okay, one thing I didn't mention in the last video, by the way, is what this K is. You might be wondering what that is. K is just any finite number. Any number, it doesn't matter what k is, as long as it's not infinity, okay? That's just all it is. So as you already know, because I've mentioned it so many times in the previous videos, if you, if you saw them, um, in order to make a series converge or diverge, it's the, the first finitely many terms cannot do anything about that. The first finitely many terms cannot make a series diverge or converge because the first finitely many terms just add up to a finite number with obviously the condition that you don't have some sort of function that, that makes you divide by zero with a finite number, right? So for example, just to be really clear about this, just a quick aside, but for example, if you had the sum from, let's say, I don't know, n equals one to infinity of one over, let's say, n minus, uh, let's go n, yeah, n minus 3 would work, yeah. Then obviously, if n was the number 3, then you would have infinity, and then pff, it doesn't converge. But uh, with that exception, obviously we're not talking about that. Uh, as long as the series behaves very well and nicely, uh, this k can be anything. It doesn't matter what it is, as long as it's not infinity. The, it's only the terms after a finite number and then to infinity that will determine whether a series converges or diverges. It's when you go to infinity what really matters, not the first finitely many terms. So that's just a quick aside, a quick note for that that I meant to mention in the last video. Anyway, this question is very similar to the one that we did in the last video, so hopefully it won't be too bad. So what we do, as always with the ratio test, is we want to take the limit as n goes to infinity of the absolute value of the n plus 1th term divided by the nth term. So the n plus 1th term here would be 2 to the power of n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 factorial. All of that divided by the nth term, which is 2 to the n over n factorial. And as I said in the last video, one thing that's a kind of an underrated talent here is you do need to be able to simplify the fractions, which I know not to be patronizing, um, but it actually really does matter. You really have to be able to do this, simplify these fractions, because of course it's really important, even though it's like, you know, it's, it's just fractions. It's like, we're, what we're doing right now is bigger than the fractions, right? It's more complicated. But remember, you still want to know the basics. How do we simplify this fraction? Well. What I would do is I would bring the n factorial up here and I would bring the n plus 1 factorial down there. And I'm just going to, make, I'm just going to write it and then you can think in your head whether or not you're happy with what I have written. Okay. So I'm just doing that now. Okay. So just have a quick glance at that and just make sure that you're really happy that this and this are the same thing. Uh, all I've done is I've multiplied the top and bottom of the main fraction by n factorial, and I've divided the top and bottom of the main fraction uh, by 2 to the power of n. That's kind of basically what I've done. As long as you know how it works, then we're chill. Okay, then we continue simplifying. So again, another thing that's kind of underrated is 
being able to simplify the factorial stuff. But we'll do, we'll do it all in one go. So 2 to the power of n plus 1 is the same thing as 2 to the power of n multiplied by 2 to the power of 1. And when we write it like that, we can simplify by cancelling those terms out. Okay, cool. Now, what we can also do is we can, I'm going to do it down here now, but we can also simplify the n factorial or the n plus 1 factorial. So on the numerator, we just have 2 times n factorial. And on the denominator, of course, we have n plus 1 factorial, but that's the same as n plus 1 times n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3, all the way down to 3 times 2 times 1. But what I can do is I can just rewrite it as n plus 1, and then all of the other terms, I can just get them by just writing them as just n factorial. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. And then, again, I've done that because I can just cancel these out. Lovely. And then what do I have here? Well, I have the limit as n approaches infinity of 2 over n plus 1. But this is equal to 0. Hopefully that's clear to see because we're literally doing 2 divided by infinity plus 1. That would give us 0. 0 is less than 1, which means, hey presto, this converges. So this here will converge because L, the ratio between, you know, as n goes to infinity, the ratio between the n plus 1 term and the n term is less than 1. It's 0, in fact, which means that this converges. And that's all there is to it. So stay tuned for the next video on ratio tests coming very soon. Thank you so much for watching, as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.